What did I? <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Two biggest things: soy, soy sauce and ginger in everything Asian. <laughs> There's no ginger in that time. <laughs> chef Brian Sao here, not your typical chef. And today I'm going to be reacting to Uncle Roger found the worst pad thai, Rachel Ray. Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to shout out all of my amazing sous chef level patrons. You guys, along with all the patrons, really do contribute a lot to this channel. And for those of you who are watching and want to support further, please consider becoming a patron. Be sure to visit the link in the description below. By becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like discounts off my merch store, early access to new videos, but most importantly, access to exclusive Patreon content. And finally, if you can follow me on Instagram at Chef Brian Sal, it would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's react to some shit. Drain the soggy noodles. My rice noodles. Ooh, uh, yeah. shit. We are not off to a good start. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not oh, off to a good start. Oh, look at the ratio of noodle to chicken. Do we have to finish watching this? For pad thai, you do not need to boil the noodles first. This is one package, about a pound to a pound and a quarter of chicken breast. What? what? Holy <laughs> shit, that must chicken. Is she cooking pad thai for her whole village? Hi, uh, look at that, it's like she's cooking the whole cast of chicken run. And the tenders. The breast meat is horizontally cut apart and then cut into thin strips. So basically, she's saying, Julianne, your chicken breast. I'm fine with chicken breast in pad thai. That is a lot of chicken. Uh, and I agree, that's like enough for at least 10 portions of pad thai. With pad thai, the main ingredient is the rice noodle. You know, the chicken is just one component in the whole of a dish. Is fish sauce. Fish Correct, bowl. fish sauce. Fish sauce. Okay. About a tablespoon like in our bowl. Too. One and a half tablespoons each of light and dark soy. What no, no. Mm -hmm. Pad thai, mm -hmm. no soy sauce. Yep. Only seasoning you need no in pad thai sauce. is fish sauce, tamarind, sugar. There Maybe vinegar, yeah. just because something Asian don't mean you need soy sauce. Totally agree. Yeah, it's that simple. Tamarind, fish sauce, sugar, preferably palm sugar. No need for soy sauce. Yeah, uh, and this is one of the biggest uh, mistakes I see Western people do when making Asian dishes is you automatically assume that there's soy sauce in there and another really popular one seems to be ginger. You just assume that every Asian dish has to have ginger. Many do, you know, many Asian dishes have soy sauce, but not all of them. And in the case of pad thai, no, no soy sauce. Three tablespoons total of soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce, liquid amino or tamari. What? Liquid amino? No. Soy sauce is soy sauce, but yes, there are these other things, the aminos and Maggie and whatever that are in the similar vein, but no, soy sauce is soy sauce at the end of the day. It's not even needed for this dish. I see where she's coming from, uh, giving you that explanation though. Wrong thing for more wrong thing. <laughs> tamari. She sounds so impressive, but so wrong. Three tablespoons. Mm. Of wrong for this dish. Horrible light brown sugar. One. Light brown sugar. Two. Wait, wait. Three. That's no, so much sugar. Are you making dessert or something? It's like she baking cake. For this dish, I will say, uh, in regards to just the sugar that she's using, yeah, light brown, dark brown sugar is the way to go. Again, preferably palm sugar would be most authentic, but I do understand a lot of people don't have access to it, so brown, brown sugar is fine. I think she said three tablespoons, and she counted to three. I feel like that was a lot of sugar, though. That I feel like that's way more than three tablespoons, just from my observation. One. One tablespoon, two, two. tablespoon, yeah, like three tablespoon. Our secret special ingredient. Tamarind oh, paste, yeah. What is this? That's how I bought this. And it lasts a really long time. A little goes a long way. Tamarind. Ah, oh, tamarind. Tamarind, correct. But tamarind, not secret. You can get it anywhere. That's it's not true. like you it need to get it from dark web. Hi, uh, this tamarind, not heroin. <laughs> and now we just whisk all of that together. Whisking good. We have a pot of water boiling for the noodles, which are rice noodles and they only take five minutes. Rice noodle, correct? They showed a clip earlier that she boiled her noodles. So you have to take it, you get your noodles, they're dry, and then you have to soak them. And you can take it from soaked straight into cooking and it actually works better because if you boil it, get it too soft, the noodle will break too easily and it'll be too soggy. I have this feeling she's gonna make the mistake of cooking the noodles in the water first and then putting it in. And it's gonna lead to a really sticky, soggy end product. Long 
large nonstick pan and we're going to cook the chicken first. So a couple turns of the pan. What is? To get the pan cooked. A couple turns of the pan. Is that, that olive the oil? most dildo looking oh. oil dispenser <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. It not look like it make for oil. It looked like it make for G spot. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even I didn't even pick up on that. I was like, why is he getting upset? I thought I thought she said olive oil. Get the chicken out of the pan. In goes our chicken. Hi yeah, your chicken completely missing the oil. Just what is happening in this video? Every step wrong? Okay, our chicken is beautifully brown. Okay. I have a transfer plate. Transfer plate? Transferring the chicken out of the pan. Uncle Roger didn't know transfer plate also mean plate. <laughs> back on the heat. Add a little more oil. Nice mm. dildo oil dispenser <laughs> again. Maybe if Uncle Roger have that, that would save my marriage. <sighs> Shallots. <laughs> And our carrots. Carrot, oh. no, no, no carrot in pad thai. Yeah, no carrot no in pad thai. No vegetable in yeah. pad thai. Most commonly, it's going to be bean sprouts and garlic chives. I have seen scallions replace for garlic chives, even though that's not authentic. But like I said, I've seen it. I should also mention with the chicken cookery, you know, that's pretty accurate. I worked a short time at a Thai sushi restaurant in Queens. And the way uh, I don't have personal, like professional Thai cooking experience, but I've been exposed to some of it. And admittedly, the place that I was working at, I was doing a con consulting gig, uh, helping them develop a new restaurant project. And I, the area I was doing the consulting gig, they gave me a little corner in the kitchen of this Thai sushi restaurant. You know, I was literally right next to the Thai station. And, um, but these were not Thai cooks. You know, it was a Chinese open Thai sushi restaurant. Regardless, you know, their pad Thai was pretty damn good. Never saw a carrot there. I just wanted to talk about the chicken cookery. And I've mentioned this before, as far as wok cookery goes, generally each station had two woks so that they can have two things going on simultaneously, whether one is just predominantly frying things. So it has a little pool of oil and then they would put the chicken in there, beef in there, shrimp in there. This is why generally a lot of Chinese restaurants are not really super great for making sure things don't get cross-contaminated if you don't eat pork or if you don't eat shellfish you know it's all cooked in the same vessel and yes they do clean it between each use you know but uh, just a heads up there's a potential potential for that and not every place is like that some are better than others for uh, the chicken cookery generally they will have a wok with a little bit of oil in it and then they will get the, that cooking while they're working something else if they only have one wok there'll be a container by the wok where they pour the oil off and then they have this strainer after they cook it and they put it there's a rack that you can put above that oil bin so the oil drips into there it's it's really a really an efficient system they have have a water spout and they clean the thing and they start the next product. What Rachel did cooking the chicken first is accurate. We're going to chop up our little Thai chilies. And chili, mm. no. no Thai Ish. chili. People just put dry chili at yeah. the end yeah. on the side. Yeah, yeah, it's usually Ginger on the side. Ginger and garlic. Ginger. Oh. Uh, what did I? <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Two biggest things: soy soy sauce and ginger in everything Asian. There's <laughs> no ginger in that Thai. Give this a flip. Drop our noodles. She takes five. Oh, what Jesus did I tell you? Yeah, she's boiling. She takes five. <laughs> Not very minutes. refined. She's just dumping the whole noodle in there. Oh my god! Water splashing to your cameraman. You. Burning him, hi. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's not very refined, doesn't really look pretty for the camera, but nothing technically wrong there. What is wrong is that she shouldn't be cooking that rice soaked and then from its soaked state go into right into the saute pan and or wok. Oh, you professional chef, cook noodle properly. Don't just dump that shit like it garbage. And also, pad thai noodle, no need to boil. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just see? put there in warm water there until tender, then finish cooking in sauce. You boil like this, it's all gonna be soggy as shit. Yeah. Who want that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to throw the chicken back in. No, stop, stop just throwing shit everywhere. If you are gonna put carrot in a pad thai dish, which you shouldn't, I do agree with doing it at the beginning, but generally, because pad thai is very simple with its veggie offerings, uh, you know, bean sprouts and uh, garlic chives, you wanna do that at the end. She didn't put either of those in there, but um, 
yeah, those two ingredients always went in last. I reacted to the Joshua Wiseman together with Uncle Roger video where they made Pad Thai, and I think they did Za Thai, which is pickled radish and uh, shrimp powder at the beginning and they sauteed that. And yeah, and that was, and also garlic and onion, which is very accurate. Uh, that should be done at the beginning. Sauce? Sauce. No, I wouldn't sauce have put it go in in now. to coat the noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The noodle should have gone in first, then the sauce, then the finishing veggies. Most, what? Save a little for garnish. No, 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 no. I, I was just about to say that. I bet you it's mint and basil. Yes, there's basil and mint in Thai cookery, but not in Pad Thai. Mm. Stop tearing. You're tearing all our ancestor <laughs> heart out. Hiya. Most of our bias cut scallion. Green onion. Too early. Green onion wrong. No scallion. You need in garlic there. chive. Oh shit, I was wondering what that other pan for is for, and this is another mistake I see all the time. Tend to do it in a separate pan and then roll it up, and, or not even roll it up, put it out and cut it into strips. You don't do that in most Asian cookery where there's egg in there. You just put it directly in with the with the veg and or the um, like the fried rice or the noodles. Generally, in Chinese cookery that I've observed over the years, you know, I used to <laughs> involuntarily own a Chinese restaurant at one point, even at this, um, a Thai a sushi restaurant I worked at, at a, for a short time. I, I always say that I like to cook the egg first and I still stand by that. I, I even think that's how they did it in the Joshua Wiseman video, which I approved of. But if I'm remembering back correctly at that Thai sushi spot, they actually did the egg after the noodle went in. And then, you know, it went in raw, went into the noodle, they stir fried immediately and you gave you these strands of egg throughout the product product. You don't cook it first, set it aside and chop it up. And I'm 99% sure that's what she's going to do here. Oh my. Swirl. Drain the soggy noodle. High rice noodles. Ew. Oh. 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 Look at the ratio of noodle to chicken. The sauce just boiling in there, evaporating. Yeah. This part time making all our ancestors yeah, cry. That, pat, that rice noodle is super soft. This. It's gonna break apart into tiny pieces. Take. That's something, you know, that's how I judge a pad thai as well. It's a timing thing. When you take the soaked pad thai, it's more firm, but you put it into your cooked shallots and, and uh, garlic and chicken, stir fry a little bit, and then you put your sauce in and then the, uh, the noodle will absorb the sauce, will absorb some moisture from the shallots and garlic and, and the chicken. Then you add in your, your, the rest of the remainder of your products. And if you timed it properly, you should still have nice long strands of noodle. When I see a pad thai presented to me and there's a bunch of tons of broken pieces, they didn't time it right. And um, texturally, it should still have some chew. It shouldn't be mushy. And we can tell just looking at this, it's gonna be super mushy. And we just- egg What did I tell pie. you? What, what, what did I tell you? <laughs> you just sliding <laughs> egg on counter and she's just chopping on kitchen counter. What is this that's shit? Actually, that's not so bad, Uncle Roger. Your chopping pot? No. <laughs> I know what he's getting at. I, I you know, you, like you use a knife and cut it on a cutting board. Cutting boards are made of plastic, generally made out of plastic and or wood and that's and the reason why you want to do that is to protect your knife because the wood and the plastic will be uh won't be as harsh as a marble counter for example that's a wood top uh counter technically it's totally fine there are tons of wood top kitchen counters that you can cut directly onto i think it's a good habit to always use a cutting board but i don't think that's so bad what i do think is bad is the <laughs> separate cooking of the eggs and chopping it up into slivers like that. That's totally unnecessary, waste of time, not authentic. This is what drunk college kid do, <laughs> chopping on table, what the hell? You That's ruining top your table, kitchen Uncle Roger. counter. It's not so bad. I, I mean, I, also like you're gonna ruin your counter, you're gonna have knife marks, right? So uh, that's why I say I, I think it's still a good habit to use a cutting board. You're ruining your knife also. Your kitchen counter, just like your career, it all fucked. <laughs> Stop this video. Shut it down. Shut it down. Now we're going to add all of our bean sprouts. Holy, Holy shit. 
<laughs> that much bean sprout. That's a lot of fucking bean sprout. You see, none of the bean sprout touching the pan. How it gonna <laughs> cook? You tell me. Anybody who eat this gonna uh, shit themselves? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but that is a lot of bean sprouts. Sprout. Oh my god. Jesus this dish Christ. most. Yo, the, it, this is like one eighth pad thai noodle. <laughs> this is one eighth noodle, dude. <laughs> this, is, this is like sauteed vegetable with the side of rice noodle. One package, you're about a cup and a half. Gently toss the egg into that hole. Egg should be scrambled, not stripped like this. Yeah. Three quarters okay. of a cup of those okay. dry roasted peanuts. Peanut, peanut, peanut okay. correct? Our reserved leaves of Thai. Or mint. Wrong also. Mint? Or, 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 peanut, uh, yeah, finally mint something correct. Basil. But the yeah. leaf all wrong, the green onion, the basil, mint, all wrong. And her cooking so bad, look, even her dog fuck off. A little squirt of lime juice. Lime, okay. I generally put that on the side. What the f and what? Oh, flour for what? <laughs> you paying your respect, is it? Because this part time more uh, dead than the queen. <laughs> edible flowers. Mm -mm, what? Mm -mm. That it? That one of the worst <laughs> part time. Rachel Ray's video be like, okay, hope you like it. Bye. <laughs> Missing dry shrimp, tofu, mm -hmm. pickle radish, mm -hmm. garlic chive, mm -hmm. the noodle all soggy, too much chicken, too much bean sprout. And you see, she just end video like that. You know your cooking pad, where in your own cooking show, you don't even show finished product. Hi. Pretty terrible pad thai right there. Uncle Roger mentioned at the, at the end of the video about the shrimp, uh, the dried shrimp, the tofu. Yeah, I mean, um, listen, is that gonna taste bad? No, I don't think it's gonna taste bad per se, but it's not a good pad thai. Not even really close to being authentic. So unfortunately, uh, I mentioned I'm not gonna do grades anymore, but I wouldn't grade that very high at all. Let's leave it at that. Totally agree with, you know, 80% of Uncle Roger's criticisms. Like, uh, let's remember some of the stuff he called her out on is more for comedic, comedic effect. But as always, you know, there's a lot of truth in the criticisms that Uncle Roger's uh, giving. And I, you know, that's why I respect him a lot. You know, he's bringing to light shitty Asian cookery. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. With that said, I am Chef Brian Sao, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon.